I am here today at Arlington Park in Youngstown, Ohio, interviewing Joseph Napier Sr. about the You Are Youngstown campaign. What is the Youngstown campaign? And tell me a little bit about it. Uh, the You Are Youngstown campaign is about the city of Youngstown, Ohio. Um, I started the project work, if you will, some 11 years ago. The you Are Youngstown um, came about as a way to promote the city of Youngstown and try to encourage the residents who live within the city to be a part of the image of the city, if you will, to lend their time and talents to the city, if you will, and the cause of the city, and just making the city a more pleasant place to live, if you will, overall. What was your inspiration for starting the campaign? The inspiration for me starting the Your Youngstown campaign was all the negative videos that I saw on YouTube and all the social media outlets out there. I grew up in the city and I live in the city on the north side of Youngstown and I said you know what there are people commenting about my fair city they don't even they don't even live here and I thought that I would try to control the narrative by producing positive videos that would push back against all the negative videos that I was viewing on the internet on social media at the time and that's why that's what inspired me to get into it if you will what do you hope to achieve with the campaign well, what I hope to achieve with the campaign is to cause people who live and work in the community to um, lend their time and talents, like I said earlier, to promoting the city in a positive light. Now, when you promote Youngstown, you promote the valley because Youngstown is the center of the Mahoney Valley community. So we we'll always tell people where the Youngstown goes, the valley goes. If the valley succeeds, then we all succeed. If the valley fails, then Youngstown fails. We're in this thing together. So I framed it in such a way and that I want everybody to see themselves as a part of a whole. And that's pretty much why I did it, Dave. How many years have you been doing this? Um, as I mentioned earlier, 11 years ago, I started my journey. I know I've been messing around with the video camera and interviewing people for some time way before that. I said, let me use my time and let me use my talent to tell a Youngstown story from a Youngstown perspective from someone who lives here in the community, and that's why I did it. Have you gotten any feedback through the years? Yeah, I, I've got some feedback from people who encouraged me to keep on doing it. Um, out of the Youngstown, You Are Youngstown video, I actually, if you will, um, started a Facebook page called You Are Youngstown 2, which shows in photography, if you will, the assets that we have in the community and the different things that we're doing in the community that are positive. And as we move towards what I call the new Youngstown, the next Youngstown, some people I talked about uh, through to the years since I started the campaign told me they saw some of my videos because to date I've done 120 videos on YouTube. 80% of the videos are directly promoting the city of Youngstown, either directly I call it or indirectly. It's positive messages about the community. And that's, what I, that's the story I want to tell about Youngstown. Has anyone else in the community covered what you're doing? Yes, along the way I've talked to people and my, the um, campaign has done exactly what I wanted it to do. Here it is um, eight years later. Uh, people came up to me and said they saw my video. I started it off with a video titled You Are Youngstown, which can be found at Nape 1962 on YouTube. I did that video first. And then the second part of my plan, phase two, was to actually develop and create a Facebook page where, of course, I'm the administrator of that. And phase three was to get out in the community and talk to as many people as I can about seeing themselves as, as a part of the community. Because when you look at Youngstown, Youngstown has 12 communities that immediately border it, if you will. So when you look at Youngstown as it cascades out into Liberty and Campbell and Durard and Struthers and Austin Town and Boardman and all these different communities, we must see ourselves as one big giant community. We really are. And then when you look at what I call the Tri-County Community, which comprises the Mahoney Valley Community, we make up over 580,000 people. But we're spread nicely out, but we're within 15 to 20 minutes from each other. So we are a greater community, if you will. We really are. How many more years do you see yourself doing this? Um, the goal of the campaign is to go on forever. As long as I'm alive and I'm a city resident, the campaign continues. Um, what I felt to mention in the past, the last question was, some of the people I know that because they saw what I was doing in my uh, UR Youngstown campaign, 
it inspired them to also create pages too. So if you go on Facebook, you'll see a number of pages that says Youngstown this, Youngstown that, the city of you. A lot of different uh, people were inspired. I have to say that because I was out there first. I was doing it when nobody else was doing it. But now, this many years later, a lot of people are jumping on board. And that was the message, to tell people you're from Youngstown, and you're from Youngstown, and you're from Youngstown. So a lot of pages I've seen, um, actual campaign videos like Youngstown, You Belong Here, came out of that. I talked to a person who was involved in that, and they said they were, they were inspired by my page too. And that's a tourism uh, video, if you will. And a lot of other Youngstown Us, Youngstown This, like I said, there's a lot of Youngstown videos that finds their roots. And they were inspired by what I did, and I think that's pretty nice. And that, that was my goal, just to have people lend their time and talents to the community for free. In closing, do you have any thoughts on how our community is doing eight years later? Yeah, Youngstown, um, eight, eight years later, I can say it has uh, no longer has a chip on their shoulder. And they're empowered in, in the fact that they see our Youngstown changing from the Youngstown it used to be. Um, Youngstown's in a forward, progressive uh, movement now, I call it, going forward, if you will. Um, I made a video called Youngstown's New Vision, which can be seen on YouTube as well on my NAEP 1962 channel. But it just illustrates the photography with music. It shows you firsthand what's going on in the valley. I think people are inspired by what's going on in the valley, especially the younger community who have picked up on my message too, indirectly. Some people have directly commented to me about it. Some people have commented to others about my page. So I think the campaign is working, but as long as there's negative videos out there, which there always will be negative videos, because there are people who don't live directly in the Youngstown community per se, who don't serve the community at all. But I serve the community. Being a resident, all that I've done, I do from my heart. I don't do it for profit. I don't, I don't do it for any kind of gain, political office or anything like that. I'm just a proud Youngstown community resident. And I think, like you said, I'll just keep doing it forever, as long as I, do, I feel there's a need for it. And I think there is a need going forward for it. And I like to see more young people pick up on it and carry the, the baton, if you will, for me. And that's what you, you are Youngstown and the You Are Youngstown campaign is all about.